Good morning, good evening. Welcome back to Building a House from Trees. Uh, this is part one. This week's episode is part one of a two-part series of uh, building a giant accordion door, or a bifold door, um, down uh, for the daylight basement. So I explain more in the video, and you'll see this week's just the framing and kind of uh, fabricating the first panel, but uh, next week will be the dramatic conclusion, so be sure to tune in. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing, liking, subscribing, um, all that. Send it to your friends and this and that. <laughs> thanks a lot, have a good week, and we'll see you next week. All right, bye. Okay, well, what I'm working on now is getting the framing uh, for this 12 foot by seven and a half, seven, seven foot um, opening. Uh, I'm gonna be building an accordion door, um, basically a bifold door, but kind of two of them that open like this. I wish I was the type of uh, YouTube creator or carpenter or whatever that could just mock this up and sketch up and do a nice animated video of it, but I'm not. I, it's up here. Um, I've been thinking about it a lot. I know it's going to work. I've asked a lot of smart people for help and advice, and I think I've got a design figured out, and I'm going to show you as I build it. So um, I've, I ripped, a, as you saw, I ripped a four, a eight by eight and a half, and that's what's going to be on the sides. That's going to hold up my really beefy hinges, and that enormous uh, PT is going to be the bottom plate. And then I'm going to tack in with uh, bolts as well, anchor bolts as well as uh, 22 nailing. So now I'm going to just kind of get everything cut, measured, and lined up and uh, get everything ready for the anchor. And I've got to borrow a hammer drill from uh, Buddy, my uh, uh, electrician buddy. So I'll be doing that soon. All right, here we go.
So to be a little extra over the top, I think it's probably um, fine, but you know, it's, it's cheap insurance. I'm going to paint the bottoms of these, the end grain, um, the part that's kind of butting up against the concrete. Um, I'm going to paint them with um, a little linseed oil and I'm going to put a strip of zip tape up on the little piece of concrete um, on the foundation wall here where there is any concrete touching the pine so there's just there's no contact between them. So there's no wicking, there's no more to transfer into the untreated pine. Like I said, probably not a huge concern, but whatever. Well, I guess it's time to get the tool belt on. And I'm reluctant to ever do that, but since I don't have a butt, I have to wear it up around my stomach and I have to wear it really tight. Um, so it crushes my internal organs. That's okay. I don't need them. All right. Um, Let's see, one, two, three. Alright, so the framing for the large accordion doors is done. Got a sill plate, uh, the sides and the top. So I'll explain this a little bit. Um, this is really beefy. It's a 4x8, um, you know, as is the style around here. <laughs> but the reason for it is it's going to be, it's going to have um, three massive hinges holding up the weight of a six foot wide door on each side and it's going to be three or four three foot panels spanning the 12 feet or 11 four an hour 11 eight or whatever it is so one panel one panel one panel and they're going to meet in the middle but they're also going to have a seam there and there um so the that had to be really heavy duty and anchored into the concrete same with that one there because that's going to be holding up the hinges i didn't want to anchor them into the concrete um, you can see the sill plate on the bottom is pinning them that way and that way. And the sill plates, I don't know what you'd call them, top plates, I guess, on the top are pinning it that way and that way. And the concrete uh, anchor bolts are preventing any uh, movement this way and that way. So that is locked in place. Um, it's great. Now, uh, now I'm going to set to, well, not right now, but um, probably tomorrow morning, I'm going to start. Uh, making up the panels. I got to be really precise with this and I'm going to be building these gaskets in between them and I got to maybe uh, Maybe somebody out there in comment land can offer some advice to me about um, I'm, I'm looking for some camming 
uh, like gate latches basically. Um, so in the summer, I'll have just a regular kind of latch that goes into a pin in the top and the bottom so I can just open one door at a time. And um, it's gonna be an eight inch thick door, actually nine inch, four inches of rigid insulation and two inches of half inch um, CDX on each side. But um, I, I, in the winter, I'm gonna wanna cam them really tight against uh, the big gasket on the bottom and the top so I can get a nice tight air seal um, because I'll keep this closed in the winter and probably uh, largely open in the summer because it's nice indoor outdoor space, like right now. So, um, you know, I'll be poking around and thinking about it, but if anybody can think of anything, all right.
Well, there we go. There's one panel. Um, one of four. I like it. It's heavy. It's a little heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. But the hinges that I got are going to be fine for holding it up. And it's anchored into something super heavy. I'm doing hinges through it. So uh, with plenty of backing on both sides. I think it looks good. I might do shingles on the outside and paint the inside white or just leave it like that. I don't know yet. Um, we'll see. But there's going to be another panel there and that, that'll be that door. And then a solid one there and then a panel there with a window. And the middle two ones are going to have windows. Storm windows that are going to be pretty big and I think will be just fine. So, oh God, everything, everything's hard when it's so hot and humid. This is just humid. That's okay, I'll take the humid. The garden's growing. All right, round two.